and I was thinking to myself, how cool would it be to see a diamond just sitting right here on top? And sure enough, right there, we have a diamond. And you see how compact it is. And the layer that I'm working in is really a dark gray. This may be the stuff everybody wants. And I'm literally shaking because I just found the most beautiful diamond I have ever seen come out of the crater at Diamond State Park. Golly, look how bright it is. Like a mirror, like a mirror. Hit it with the UV light. Oh my gosh, look at that. Wow. This diamond continues to glow when I turn off the UV light. Back to another adventure, miners, prospectors, and rock hounders. It's always good to see you all back at the channel. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you like what you see and you decide to subscribe. I am back at the Crater Diamond State Park. In this video, we're gonna dig a hole using my new tool. This is something that I've been needing for a long time and I finally have one. So yeah, in this video, I'm just gonna be digging a hole. Like always, that's the best way to get your diamonds out here. Dig a deep hole and get that gravel veins that are untouched. It's late October and this is digging season. Cooler weather. Normally had some rain from hurricane season. So it's just a good time to be out here. And here recently a lady found a four carat almost a four and a half carat yellow diamond just laying on the surface. She wasn't here but like 30 minutes and the lady found it right over in this area, right over that road and somewhere out here in this field. That's where that one was found. There's been several beautiful yellow diamonds found over here, right by Canary Hill. Time to get everything out of the cage keep everything locked up in here seven eight nine ten we will need that time for a new tarp Maybe that's why. That's the size of the scooper that I normally use. And they don't last but one hole if I'm lucky. See how flimsy that is. Well, I had a custom scooper made. Check that out. And this thing is heavy duty. Aluminum. Super lightweight. So this will really help scoop up my diamond ore. That way I won't lose any diamonds. Get all this stuff out of here, get my shovels, get down to my spot and dig up this gravel vein that I found. All right, wagons loaded. Everything I need to dig a hole. I've been down here probing and I found some really good crunch and it's several layers there's a couple layers of gravel that's always a good sign is there's one all right I went through that one and then there's the next one ah, I can't even get the probe to go through it and it's small gravel nothing but little tiny rocks and that's what i want to fill with my probe let's get a closer look that way you can hear the sound of the gravel i 
There's one. All right, it went through that layer. And there's pretty soft material, probably no gravel. Ooh. You can hear that little crunch. And that tells me it's small gravel. Can you go through it? That's the sound that I like to hear when I'm looking for gravel to dig up. That's a rock. Yep, some good stuff over here. Hear that? That's what I want. And there seems to be quite a bit of gravel just in this little area. So this is where I'm gonna dig next is right here. Because almost everywhere that I have probed, we have gravel. Multiple layers. I can't even, that's it, I can't even go through that. Man, this is awesome. And maybe this is that good material that was left behind from the early mining companies. If we can find that virgin material, I'll see big diamonds, a lot of diamonds in just a few buckets. Because I like to go buy a diamond every 10 buckets. I don't like hearing I got a diamond in 40 buckets or on getting this dug down to the gravel layers and I will catch back with everybody once I reach the gravel layer or if I come across something like a shoe or a, you know an old diamond miner I'll let everybody take a look at that you never know what's gonna be down here there's been Prince Albert cans buried out here from the old mining companies you find a Prince Albert can it could be loaded with diamonds big diamonds that were stolen from the mining companies there have been a couple of them found out here so that'd be really cool to find a Prince Albert can full of diamonds all right that's where I'm at getting there starting to see some gravel pop up like this right here that is probably the reddest piece of Jasper I've ever seen I think it's dark red. Maybe not the reddest, but that's a good indicator. Maybe all the gravel is going to be red. Wouldn't that be cool? Digging a gravel vein, nothing but red jasper. All right, I'm at the gravel. You can hear it. Let's take a closer look at it. There's a sheet of plywood. I don't know if it's a full sheet or a half a sheet, but it's laying kind of almost vertical like it was thrown in to help cover up a hole but let's take a closer look at the gravel and this plywood you got some steps the spiral steps all right here's the board a sheet of plywood just sitting here and been buried for who knows 20 years and over here is the gravel definitely some larger rocks like a log so now it's time to pierce through all this material it's real green got a green look to it that's always good more of a volcanic material some red jasper man look at that red jasper definitely in some gravel All right, now it's getting time to where my huge scooper is going to help. It's getting pretty narrow where it's hard to work. 
So what I'll be doing now is just using my fork. It really helps get the gravel. You can just see how compact it is. And the layer that I'm working in is really a dark gray. Very unusual, kind of greenish. This may be the stuff everybody wants. Yeah, I'll just sit here and break it up. Yeah, I got an idea what I'm doing. It's not easy. For now, I could probably use my shovel. Yep, that's fine. I've talked about how the gravel layers change every two feet or so. It could be four feet, but it changes every couple feet and here's a good example over here we have a really dark layer kind of greenish grayish color and on this side it's a light brown color with gravel so the gravel layers change colors they have different types of rocks in them but you definitely want to look for the gravel layers that have mainly smaller rocks versus the big rocks. Okay, I'm on bucket number 14. I'm gonna have to go up to my cage and grab some more buckets. I'm gonna try to get 20 buckets out of here. to the point where I can't get the material out using my shovel so I had to cut out a bench right here for my bucket and now I'll be using my new custom hand scooper get down here and get this material out Definitely has a smell. Yeah, I'm gonna need to get my gloves on. Definitely helps to have gloves. I can rake all this up in my hand scooper and then dump it in the bucket. The time I do that, with five or six buckets, I'll be wore out. Whew, I'm on bucket 19. <sighs> I get 20 maybe get 22 buckets and then it'll be time to fill in the hole get everything put in my cage and come back in a day or two and get all this material washed and see if I got some diamonds there's a huge conglomerate down here it may be bigger than the last one I found I'm just you don't see some of it so I won't be able to get the conglomerate out I can't spend all my time on that but yeah this new scooper Thing is amazing. The big rocks down here. Seventy pounds, eighty pounds. All right, number twenty. Whew. 
working on getting the buckets out of my cage and man look at that check out that gravel it rained so it exposed what the gravel kind of looks like it's looking good so now it's time to get all my buckets carried over to the wash station oh my gosh you guys aren't gonna believe what just happened I was bringing my buckets up here to wash I was thinking to myself how cool would it be to see a diamond just sitting right here on top and sure enough right there we have a diamond just sitting here so if we can get a little closer look at it right there right there that's the diamond Looks like it could be a five point or so, a white. Unbelievable. That's the first time I've ever done that. And the fact that I was thinking about it and there it is. Always trust your gut. Actually, I could count this as a surface find because it's sitting there on the surface. My first surface find. I got my spoon. Time to scoop this little diamond out of here. Yeah, that wind is killer, but I just can't exactly. If I was to try to use my fingers, it would just bury it into the mud and I would lose this diamond. There it is. It's on the spoon. Now we need to get this into the medicine jar without all that. Oh, I just dropped it. There it is, right there. It's right there don't want all that mud and you can see how there's mud stuck to it you know there, <laughs> the mud falls off but it's still stuck to the diamond making it dirty looking so mud will stick to the diamonds all right it's in the jar ready to get these buckets washed Wow, I can't believe there's a diamond just sitting there on top of the gravel. So we could see even more diamonds out of this material. I can't wait to get this washed. All right, turns out it's a seven point. See the facets, got some carbon. That poor man right there, he's never found a diamond. Okay, maybe he's found over 500. On bucket number five, and every bucket looks the same, just tons of gravel. Haven't seen much agate. Here's a piece of agate. Not a very pretty piece. Lots of red jasper. But yeah, the gravel is not letting up. I couldn't see any of this with all that mud, but I could fill it with my shovel. It turned out to be quite a bit. I'm even seeing some heavy indicators in my top screen, like the calcite. That's a heavy indicator. No quartz yet. No barite or spinel. We see spinel or hematite on this top screen you would definitely see some big diamonds and here is the concentrated material out of five buckets looking pretty good looking pretty good lots of spinel all right bucket number six not seeing a lot of gravel but check this out piece of jasper like purple that's cool plus a nice piece of agate. Oh, another piece of agate, burn up. Also, I noticed some volcanic tuff right there. That's kind of unusual. So I'm seeing all the minerals conglomerate. Red Jasper, Agate. And it 
looks like I have some mud right there, so I need to keep scrubbing. You want to get all the mud worked down. Look at that. Look at that little piece of jasper come out of there. Bunch of it. Bunch of jasper. This is probably the best bucket I'm seeing conglomerate. Lots of red jasper. There's some more conglomerate. But man, did I see a piece of agate. I can find it. It's in here. It's in here somewhere. Unreal. Sure where that agate went. Oh, here it is, right there. Check that out. Beautiful piece of agate. You could get that cut polished. It would look amazing. I'm seeing all the indicators we want to see. Fine diamonds. Working on getting buckets carried over to the wash. And this little guy right there will not go away. I put this little frog in the trees. Now he's hiding. He thinks he's hiding. I need to get this little guy off of here. Froggy's on. He's going up in the bucket. Uh. So what I did is I grabbed the stick and I forced it up to his mouth and that got him to come on out of there. I grab a hold of the stick. Let go, let go. There you go. Come on. There we go. All right, got him on the stick. Take him back over to the tree. Stinker. You hang on, buddy. I have put this frog in this tree at least 10 times. Come on, you. Come on. Come on. There you go, buddy. Taking a safety meeting, doing some surface hunting, and check out this piece of agate just laying on the surface. Wow, I think it's awesome. That side not so good, but check that out. I bet we'll find a better one if I keep looking. There's one. Right there, another piece of agate. Smaller, pretty rough looking. Oh, here's another piece of agate. <laughs> Man, look at that one. Just agate left and right out here in the south trench. I don't see any more. It's pretty weird to see that many pieces. Yeah, not bad. I got some good agate right off the start. There's some conglomerate. Pretty cool piece. Oh my gosh, look at that. Not sure what that is. Maybe a dinosaur bone. Oh, look at this piece of agate. Right there. All right. Man, agate all over the place. Wow, check that one out. 
oh my gosh i'm gonna give this piece of agate away to one lucky subscriber that leaves a comment on this video likes the video and shares this video out that is an awesome piece of agate and it's heavy it's like almost two pounds let's take a look at this cleaned up wow look at all that agate man and the biggest piece of agate i've ever found came from over here you may remember in a video in the past where i found a huge piece of agate my personal record i can't remember what it weighed like 20 pounds or something unreal but man that's a good one and clean off the agate take a look at it cleaned oh there's another burn up though see how that one's burn up there's just no color not much there so i'll just leave that one and a lot of this agate that i'm picking up it will be going in my patreon's monthly packages and every oh my gosh look at this one whoo look at that piece of agate whoa that is sick it got a little warm but it's still it's got some color in there we'll keep it pieces like that and what i've been collecting will be going in my patreons my element and gemstone patreon supporters they get a monthly package in the mail it consists of agate diamond ore gold ore pay dirt bags all types of other minerals that i find on my adventures fossils so if you're not a patreon be sure and sign up and there it is cleaned check out those colors be sure and leave a comment and you can win this awesome piece of agate from the crater of diamond state park bucket 13 and this is the layer where all the larger rocks started to show up and check that out check that out right there oh my gosh that's around a three carat oh my gosh yes oh that's a big one that's a big one yeah that's a nice big piece of washed quartz that's a piece of quartz that's been washed rounded down almost looks like a diamond but that is quartz and these quartz can be cut polished and they make amazing gemstones just a few buckets left and check that out nice piece of quartz it's even got a cap on it you see the facets very cool you don't see them like that very often man. if you do find them like this probably because it came from Mount Ida and somebody threw it but this is naturally from the diamond mine very hard to get Walking around right over here and I noticed on the surface that right there and I thought to myself 
that might be a piece of agate and sure enough it is check that out that's at least a 40 pound agate look at that crystallization right there man <laughs> look at this rock that is agate that could be a 45 50 pound chunk of agate this is definitely worth getting a table saw and cutting this in half let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see me cut this huge agate in half and see what pieces we'll get out of it look at that it's so cool all right i'm going to carry that up to my cage Okay, I'm back at the house making centers and I'm literally shaking because I just found the most beautiful diamond I have ever seen come out of the crater of Diamond State Park naturally. This diamond has not been cut. I'm at home making centers. I got 22 buckets out of the hole. I've got oh, a little over half a bucket to work. And so far I got a diamond here at the house. Let's take a look at this diamond. Let me know if you can see it. Yep. Right there. It's a flawless white diamond. That's the prettiest diamond I've ever found or seen come out of the crater of Diamond State Park. That thing is amazing. I instantly noticed it. Golly, look how bright it is. It's like a mirror. All right. I want to say it's about a 30 point flawless white diamond. Yes. And I still have a lot of material to go through. Here's the diamond under my digital microscope all i can notice that is wrong with this diamond are the very few tiny dots of carbon little black specks here you can see the diamond is almost crystal clear i cannot believe this diamond is crystal clear so the test that the crater diamond uses if you're able to see through the rock it's not a diamond. Well, this right here is proof that some Arkansas diamonds will allow you to see right through it, just like that. Anytime I find a diamond, I will use my long wave UV light, and this will let me know if the diamond is going to fluoresce, meaning it's picked up fluorescent minerals during the creation period. Some of these diamonds will glow under a UV light, and some of them will not. Let's hit it with the UV light. Oh my gosh, look at that. Wow, that is amazing. It's blue. I'm going to work the light towards the diamond. You can see the light shining on the coin. And the closer I get, the brighter the diamond gets. Insane. Wow, I got the light right on it, and look at that. Just, I think this diamond is going to glow. If you've seen in my videos from Tater Island, I had a diamond that glowed for almost one minute. Let's see if this one's going to continue to glow when I turn the light off, and it's completely pitch black. Can't see it right now, but once I turn off the lights, the UV light sometimes allows the diamond to keep glowing when I turn it off. So let's see if it's gonna do that. Okay, lights are off. There's the diamond glowing. You can see my light way over here. So I'm gonna work it towards the diamond. It's on the coin. Oh, look how bright it's getting. And it's still daylight outside. My room isn't completely black. All right, let's see if it's gonna keep glowing. Oh my gosh, it did. Sweet, it's still going. 
It is still glowing and glowing. Oh, it's fading. Yep, this diamond continues to glow when I turn off the UV light. Let's give it a really good charge. I have the light directly on the diamond. Oh my gosh, is that smoke? Oh, no. All right, here we go. Wow, that is so awesome. All right, that's the last of the material. Two diamonds so far. Lots of spinel in every one of these flips. Tons of spinel. Spinel is the black little shiny rocks throughout all of these centers. And we got some magnetite, I'm sure, as well, which is a good heavy indicator. But it looks like two diamonds out of 22 buckets. Beautiful garnet right there. The rest of this material could have diamonds in it. All this material will be bagged up and it goes to my Patreon supporters and eBay buyers. And they get to do the final step. Look through all the centers and see if I missed any diamonds. And if you don't go through the centers on a tray, you will miss diamonds. That's how we get the one points, the two points, the three pointers, the four pointers. I've heard stories of people finding almost half carat diamonds on the tray. They are very easy to miss.